Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome to Revisited Evil. A quick look at the PlayStation 5 versions of Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7. All games that I have played on this channel, all games that I am quickly revisiting on the PS5 to take a quick look at. Since we are getting close to the fall season, it's getting time for spooky games again. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. There's Something been a, sev right. a severe lack of horror content on the channel lately, and I plan on fixing that in the near future. I think Visage just scared me. Well, hello there, right? Mr. Cop Guy. Don't move. I'll be back for you. Nah, but seriously though. We're gonna play about mm, 15 to 20 minutes of each of these. Because that's three games and that'll give us an hour. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Uh, stay back, sir. I got this. Uh, uh, hey! Uh, 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 wait uh, 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 Oh, that still hurts to watch. Even more so in glorious 4K HDR. I'll shoot. Ooh. This is using the adaptive triggers and haptic feedback, which is nice, which is very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. It's very nice. Are you done yet? Can't be wasting all the ammo, my friend. We need to. Oop. No, I need to take that. Okay. La da 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 dee da do. Okay, there's the sprint button. What are you doing? Oh no, we've been trafficled. So yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, I... Oh, we can go through one of these, can't we? Or no. I, um... What was I gonna say? I did a live stream of the Resident Evil 2 remake. I did the Leon campaign first, then I did the Claire campaign. Okay, there we go. This is the way out. Oh no, now there's a lot of them. I guess we'll just have to run. Oh shit! That's not enough. What the? I don't have enough ammo for all of you. Sorry. Oh, goodbye. There's Claire. Don't shoot! Get down! Hey, there was only one bullet left in that chamber when I was done. Where'd you get the second bullet from? Cutscene magic. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. You may notice I started a little bit into this too. I'm gonna be doing that with all three of them. Starting at the exciting parts and, you know, skipping most of the rest of in the beginning. Come on! Well, in this case, it was just like the opening cutscene that I skipped. We started the very moment Hold that on. you could control Leon. I'll probably skip the opening cutscene for Resident Evil 3 as well, and just go straight to the first chase scene with Nemesis. And for Resident Evil 7, we'll probably skip most of the opening house and just go straight to the What's Baker Mansion. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. All right, skip this part now. I, I kept the exciting part on. Oh, we can skip the opening credits too. They're not really, I mean, they are cool to look at. They are really cool. This is really cool to look at.
know what? I'm glad we watched them. It was cool to look at, and it wasn't even that long. All right, though, but for real, let's get straight into the Attention business now. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak... Blah, 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 blah. Let's get to the shoot. Okay. Bam! This is oh, right. Control. I'm out of ammo. Where's my melee? Oh, let me get to the stupid jackal. Yo! Aren't I supposed to have a knife or something, or am I thinking of different Resident Evil? Hey, yo, 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 yo! Oh, I need to go this way. Ah! Oh, he's gonna take a bite. Oh. Okay. I could use some ammo, like now. But sure, I mean, it is kind of more horror-focused to be running for your life in the beginning and unable to defend yourself. <sighs> Shit. It's everybody. They won't turn it. Everybody, everybody, everybody oh, wants to is. be a corpse. The station. And me without my ammunition. Hopefully there'll be some mission at the station. Some station mission. I'm on a mission. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, coming through, coming through, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll just walk on through this gate here. Goodbye. Wouldn't have had enough ammo to deal with all of them anyway. It wasn't happening, I'm sorry. Welcome to the city of the dead. All right. Oof. Oh. Resident Evil games of the past got Hello? used to safe zones. Is anybody here? And so, in this area, since it has a spot where you can save your game, you think that it's safe. You think that it's an area where no one can get to you. But once Mr. X shows up, this area is no longer safe. Damn, that's so, that's so fucking fast how fast it loads. I love it. All right, nothing here. But anyways, let's look at the computer. See the weird shit going on. There has to be someone here. Oh, there is. Just not what you're hoping for. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Oh, Jiminy Christmas Send biscuit. find that guy yeah yeah yeah. puzzles and running around and shooting and stuff resident evil ha cha 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 okay <laughs> let's let's go that's how they should do the fucking you know the trailers and shit like instead of trying to make it all look all spooky and stuff they should make it all super exciting and be like resident evil do you like puzzles do you like shooting zombies do you like ha cha 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 <laughs> resident evil shoot stuff and Shoot stuff and put things in holes. <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> Learn your survival skills and how shapes work at the same time. <laughs> A, B, C. It's easy as <laughs> what to. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going a little overboard, going a little crazy, going a little cuckoo. Da, 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 da. These are all doors you need keys for, if I remember correctly. I'm just exploring the wonderful environment and also making sure I have ammo. Because even though this is a singular episode one-off thing that I'm doing for the sake of content, I do plan on going back and replaying this on the PS5 at some point, as well as the other two that you'll see in this video. And so... I'm going to go ahead and keep my game saved. Oh, there's ammo over here. I think. Isn't that ammo? Is that ammo? It looks like ammo. I think I could be 
I can't reach it. No, that's a box of donuts. Never mind. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. All right. I know this is where I'm supposed to go. This is where things get creepy because it's dark. Ooh. Very fucking dark, by the way. And when this game is in HDR and using ray tracing for the lighting, oh, like, I thought the lighting was spooky on the PS4 version, but this, oh, man. Okay. Oh, boy, the ray tracing makes a difference. Yikes. Okay, spooky shit. Mm. That needs a fuse. I'm not going to overly worry about most of this shit at the moment, because when I do go back to play this, like, actually play it seriously. Oh, boy. I will probably just start it over from the beginning, if I'm being honest. You got this. Yeah, you got this, Leon. Don't be scared. It's just creepy noises in the dark. Hello? Are you gonna come to life on me? Okay. Wow, the 3D audio is amazing, too. Every time I shoot the gun, I can fucking hear the clip landing on the ground behind me. Like, landing on the ground next to me and then, like, bouncing behind me. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, this game has 3D audio. I recommend watching this with headphones. Unless you find my voice too annoying to watch this with headphones. Which I would completely understand, because I, too, find my voice annoying. <laughs> Ah, I gotta love having a little light up in here. Anyways, what am I doing? I think I need to move this uh, thing out here. Yep, this is out okay, where I'm going. Shkadoofly, boofly, hoofly, noofly. Alright. There's a spooky round here in the corner Jesus. somewhere. One of you is alive. I guess I need to wait for the cutscene to trigger it. I don't have. Open up! Hurry! Open up! The... Open this goddamn door! I don't know I'll if I you trust out. you. Please! Come here, help me! I got you. Oh, too late. but at least we got the thing that we need to do. <laughs> this officer has been spending a lot of time, like, figuring out this shit, these puzzles and stuff. Now we get to fight. Why don't you come on? There we go. Thank you. There we go, now is the fun begins. Gosh. Son of a bitch. Can't remember if there's anything over here or not. Yep, there's stuff. There's items. Not like it matters all that much for this. 
quick little playthrough thing here that we're doing, but oh hello. Jesus! They're everywhere! Oh shit, okay. You got that, Leon. You got it. Oh, hello. I <laughs> forgot about that. A little bit of luck involved there, you know what I'm saying? You're safe. For now. Hey, buddy, Thanks. you look like you've seen better days. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. We all know how this turns out. He's the cop that turns into a zombie from the original. Does anyone know what started this? Okay. Yeah, now you get the knife. Now you're able to go places and do things. <laughs> I asked about the knife earlier. All right, now we're ready for combat. Now we're doing shit and stuff and things. Not how I imagined my first day. What did you imagine? A cake? And balloons? Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Leon. Yes, we can board up windows to stop zombres from coming in. A feature that they added to this game for the hell of Helicanacus of it. Alright. Where are we on time? I was hoping we'd get to see the liquor for the first time. This is this is the part where it comes in in the original, but I don't think it comes in in the remake until later. Hmm. Yeah, you just see this guy's face has been, this guy's jaws been ripped clean off. Well, not jaw, but it's... Yeah, he just got... Ugh. Oh, that's meaty. Huh? What? Oh, what could it be besides things? <gasps> Ooh, just fucking Christ. <laughs> I forgot about the body falling. But yeah, you know the liquor's coming up soon because of the... the, um, the claw marks on the wall. <laughs> yeah, we'll just ignore them. Whoa, okay. They don't want to be ignored. Go through here. I know, I ignored all the items, but I'm trying to rush to the save room real quick. You bastard. Yeah, that'll, that'll, you're telling them, Leon. I'll show them. Okay, well, that's about as far as we're going to go for Resident Evil 2. I'll see you in Resident Evil 2. Hello and welcome back. We're now playing Resident Evil 3 Remake. I moved a little bit forward in it because I didn't want the whole beginning of this to be the part where Jill's limping and stuff. I know, I know. The chase sequence in the beginning with Nemesis is really cool and all, especially because he's wearing garbage bags the whole time. But... I wanted to move forward to a part where we had weapons and we were playing the game proper instead of all the opening cinematic stuff. Because that's where the upgrades really shine, is in the uh, the gameplay more so than the than the cutscenes. So, anyways. I'm going to ignore shooting anything that I don't have to. Oh, hello! Ah, get off me, you fucking fucker. Hurry up. Be gone, fool! Alright. That takes care of that.
Is this the part where the helicopter gets shot down with a rocket? A nemesis rocket? Nemesito? Or no, wait, they didn't put that part in the remake. Yeah, wait, yes they did. There it is. Not in the same spot and not the same character, but it's still the same thing. All right, here we go. Now, is it just me, or does Nemesis in the PS5 version look different than he did in the PS4 version? I don't remember him being covered in garbage bags like this. He looks like a uh, one of the he looks like uh, one of the drivers from Twisted Metal. It's my turn, bitch. Twisted Metal Black specifically. Oh, hello. See the caution biohazard stuff all over him? I wonder if that's just like a... Like a bonus or something. Maybe I'm just not remembering things right. Maybe he like gets that all blown off in a fire or something but i don't i don't know i don't remember when i when i played when i did the cinematic playthrough of this the ps4 version i do not remember oh yeah there it is okay i was right the bags get blown off in a fire never mind i was remembering wrong wow that's impressive looking Nice shot, Carlos. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Carlos, and I'm saving you. Skip. <laughs> That's okay, I, I didn't. We're clear. All right. Hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get it move on. This is the part where we go through the sewers oh, to your home base. On. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Of course I'm gonna watch the cool hey, parts of the cutscenes and then skip the rest of it. We're pressed for time here, don't you know? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Right, it's a bioweapon. Like One of the first no, bioweapons. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? We're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with What's Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh. Yeah, let me count the ways. Your company <laughs> is responsible for infecting everyone. And yeah. of course, this is old Umbrella with the red logo. Not new Umbrella with the blue logo. That's a different thing involving Chris Redfield. You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? And Ethan Winters. Come on, it's this way. Is it though? Is it really? Uh, okay. All right, here we go. On the train, feel no pain. Okay, first things first. A lot to lose and a lot to you gain. Need to get you geared up. Head up to I... the street level. You'll find supplies there. No, it's it's cool. You see, I'm actually I've got guns. In case you didn't notice, that's the way they want me to go, isn't it? I don't know. I don't fucking know. The train moved. No, wait. That's the way we came. The train didn't Shit, move. Yeah. Never mind. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I would miss. <laughs> right, I'm good to go on all fronts. I should probably have my assault rifle equipped, though, because I am out of pistol ammo, handgun ammo. Almost out of handgun ammo. I'm low on handgun ammo. <laughs> How many more ways can I say the same thing? Let's find out, shall we? Jill? It's me again. You topside yet? Br on bitch, it. I just so left. Structure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Let's start by shutting the fuck up. 
Yeah, yeah, but now I gotta sneak it so I can look and sink it. Alright. Stuff to combine with other things to make other things and things that make stuff. And combining I Yes, I know how it works. have anything to combine the gunpowder with not yet anyway okay I don't have a lucky picky I need a lucky picky to pick it a lucky I don't have lucky pick I can no pick luck all righty Rudy then let's shave our game We should have another, we should have an actual fight with Nemesis coming up here soon. More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Well, hello there, box art zombie. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to do a quick step. I'm going to go to a quick, can, can you, can you, can you, can you, hey, oh, yeah, you can't get me, can you? Because I'm too quick for you. That's right. Bam! Right in the Cambrian Distinkle. Right in the Mandula Umblegata. <laughs> right in the Cranium. In the Chrome Dome. Alright, there's my handgun ammo. The itsy bitsy zombie is creeping through the alley. I'm gonna shoot him in the head and watch him fall down. It doesn't have to rhyme. When... It doesn't have to rhyme when you're playing Resident Evil, because nothing in Resident Evil makes sense. <laughs> oh, I need another locker picker. Not getting through there too easily. Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down, would ya? I'll be with you in a moment. There. You happy now? If I remember correctly, gotta get... Gotta get heads rolling in order to get where I need to go. So... Carlos, I've reached the main... Which way do I go, Carlos? I'm gonna go through here and Nemesis is gonna show up. Boy, oh boy, how to put the fire out. There we go. This is what I was waiting on. All right. Nemesis is going to show up at some point once we get through this donut shop to the other side. And he's the reason the whole, that big giant head goes rolling. Yeah, 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 grrr, I'm zombie, I moan. Uh, uh. I hear you schlarbeten. And sloshing over there, feeding on someone. Don't think I don't. It's a very obvious noise. You! Yeah. Right. Your turn. Oh, you saw that, did you? I'll take that. Uh, 
All right. That is not the shortcut I was hoping it was, but I will take it either way. Fuck it. Let's go. Time is precious. Oh shit, my inventory's full. Oh wait, I can do something about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. All right. Problem solved. Like, I need more goddamn gunpowder taking up my inventory space when I already don't have anything to do with what's in there already. Okay, I'm trying to avoid fighting these fuckers too much. Oh, shit! Okay. That was fucking horrifying right there. Okay, that got me. That got me. I will admit. Oh shit, hello. Okay. This must be the subway company's offices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the part where we do a cutscene or something. Nothing. Oh, right. We need a lockpick. Um. Oh, look, a bobblehead. Root map, root map, root map. Oh, right, I gotta turn the power on before I can do that shit. A puzal, you see. There's the fire hose. Oh, right, that's what I need. You know what? I'm just gonna drop some of this gunpowder. I don't need it. Wait. Oh! You can combine it with the other gunpowder to make ammo. Fuck, why wasn't I doing that in the first place? Okay. I forgot! Okay? Leave me alone. Uh, I need... I can't get the shotgun. Because I don't have the right tool. Ooh, a hand grenade. I'll pick that up as soon as I can bind some more. Oops, shit. Come on. There we go. Okay. Take the fire hose to put out the fire. Should have an encounter with Nemesis on the way. But then we're going to have to come all the way back here again. Nope. Not, no, it's after we turn the power on that we have the nemesis encounter on the way back. The shit with the fire is just extra for the moment. That's okay. We're about done with this one anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. It's the opposite of burn, baby, burn. More like douse, baby, douse. Okay, that was dumb, sorry. Alrighty, Rooney. Hey, there's them bolt cutters. That we need to do stuff and things and other stuff and things. And here's the thing, which is in perfect timing, too, because now we're gonna probably go ahead and move on to Resident Evil 7. Hello again, everyone. We are now on Resident Evil 7. Uh, I jumped ahead a little bit to where we've got we got Mia. I decided to do some of the parts in the guest house because some of the parts in the guest house are interesting enough to do. Mia. So it's like right after you find Mia, and then she disappears, and then you have no idea what the fuck's happening anymore. So you go upstairs.
and that's not ominous at all. Some of the best spooky shit happens pretty early on in the guest house. There we go. Needed that map. Um, okay. That's the first aid thing. I'm gonna need those. That's right, the basement door. And this is where Mia does the spooky jump scare thing. Here we go. I've seen this so many times at this point that it's like, okay. I get it. Oh man, this part was really effective in VR though, the first time I played this. Wait, wait. Oh boy. Evelyn. Feel her clawing her way back inside of me. He's talking about Evelyn. Out. Or she's talking about Evelyn. Leave me alone. The E virus I hive deserve, mind. I deserve this. What the fuck are you, Mia? Infected with the E virus. <laughs> I thought she's supposed to do something when we walk past her again. There we go. Alright, it's hatchet time, baby. Ah! And the crazy part is she survives this, but of course because she's infected. Being infected with the E-virus means surviving fatal wounds, you know, for the most part. All right, nothing like a phone call after something like that, you know what I'm saying? Hi, Zoe. Long time no chat. What's up? You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Not without having the shit kicked out of us, of course. And Mia's gone. Mia? But of course she would be. What do you think this is? All right. Nope, she's going to jump scare us from around one of these corners. But not until we get the thing we need out of this cabinet over here. We do have bolt cutters now, after all. I can't remember if this is an optional item or if this is something we actually need to move forward. Yeah, it is something we actually need. It's a fuse. Oh, hi, Mia. I see you creeping along. Don't mind me, and I won't mind you, since you despawn as soon as you go by. Oh, that's right, the fuse box is in the living room, but here's a save thing. 
And there's the tape that we're never going to watch. Okay, all saved up. I can't believe it's only been six minutes in this one so far. We've already covered so much ground. That just goes to show how well I know Resident Evil 7, though. I've played this one a lot. Remember, I made a music video for this one. And if you haven't seen that music video, I'm going to link it down below because it's a damn good music video. I'm actually going to put related content everywhere. So, like, in the comments, I'll put links for my live stream of 2, my cinematic playthrough of 3. Um, where's the fuse thing? It's in here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Uh, my VR playthrough of 7, and it's DLC. Of course, of course. And then, of course, the music video. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. See, I didn't jump this time because I knew that was going to happen. This is the part where we get our hands sawed off. You should, you should shut the hell up. That was an owie. Come on, Ethan. No matter how hard you pull. He doesn't pull it out until it's too late. And he can use his hand to defend that. We'll put a little gloopy sloosh on that. That'll heal it right up nicely. Well, sort of. We need to get the fuck out of here now. There's a crazy lady with a chainsaw. And we didn't even cheat on her. Well, we don't know that. She was gone for three years. We have no idea what Ethan did. This is where we get the gun, the gun that we absolutely need in order to survive this encounter. Okay, fine. Yeah, we're gonna play that way. This is one of those situations where you want to try to find ammo in the area before hand, if you can. Because, as soon as you try to climb out that window, things are about to go topsy-turvy for you. If you can get her to break these boxes with, um, with her chainsaw, sometimes there's shit in them. I don't want to waste ammo on it, though. Wait, I have the axe. I can just use that. Right, right, can't I? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There is handgun ammo there, too. Just making sure, though. Okay. I like breaking shit. That's part of that. Alright, no more time wasting. Let's go. Straight into this little, this first boss battle. Yikes. I am responsible. Come on. Go down. Whoa. Yeah, that's so close. The 3D audio, man. Something about it being a chainsaw just makes it more spooky. Too late for all that. No, no, it's not her fault. She is infected with the E-Virus after all. Anyways, where are you, Jack? 
You're supposed to show up and knock the shit out of me now. Welcome to the family, son. There it is. Took him long enough. That's where Ethan gets quote unquote knocked out. I don't want to say anything though, in case you're watching this and you haven't played Resident Evil Village or seen Resident Evil Village. I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't say any more about what actually just happened right there. But it'll blow your fucking mind when you find out, man. Trust me. It'll blow your mind. Anyways, we're coming up on the uh the infamous dinner scene. Come on. Don't you die on us now? You have work to do. Zoe, working against her family the whole time, reattaches Ethan's arm or hand for him. How kind. Of course she gets pissed when we give the cure to Mia and not her, and she's been helping us this whole time. She feels very betrayed. But what did you expect? Plus it's the only way to get to the true Where ending is to give it to Mia. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepy head. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? <laughs> Edith, it's good. Dumb some bitch. What I think I'll pass. <laughs> Not again. This happens on a regular basis. Hey, Evelyn. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Oh, I'm good on the chitlins, bro. I'm good on that nasty shit. Where did he cut him exactly? God damn it. I bet it's that cop again. God damn pigs. I'm coming back for you. Are you though? Don't worry, I'll be long gone by then, trust me. Or at least I'll try to be. Now, see, originally this is where I was going to start it, like right after we break out of this chair. But I figured, I don't know, some parts of that part in the guest house are too good to skip out on. Look, taking another look at in 4K HDR. At least I'm assuming this is recording in HDR. I turned HDR on for all three games, so it better be. And I know that SharePlay, or the um, Share Factory does HDR too, so. Okay. Got to get handgun ammo for a handgun we don't have at the moment. Better that way, though. All right, we don't have a whole lot of time left, so uh, let's see how far we can get. I know uh, I don't have a knife to break that shit yet, so we got to get Jack to chase us around. We need a key for in here, which is at the end of this hallway, which once we try to go get that key, he's going to see us, but it's okay. Ooh. Okay, I was going to say, sometimes there's things. All right, here we go. Hey, Jack. Done? Yeah, I thought I would try at least. Yoo-hoo, Jackie you boy! I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. Ah, God damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. 
Every fucking time. Oh god, this part is fucking spooky. Oh my god. Every time I play this, even, even though I've done this a million times, that part still scares the shit out of me. Every single time. Still makes me nervous. Still gives me the heebie-jeebies right in my, right in my guttural area. God, it's intense. Resident Evil 7 did such a good job at being scary. Especially after 5 and 6 were not scary. Another save. Okay. I don't have a gun yet, but I'm about to get a knife. Which I will take, uh... I'll take that defense coin. And I'll also take this supply box, which gives me all these nice supplies. All right. Some chem flu, some other shit like that. Combine it with herbs to make things. Cool. Wait, what is this? Oh, strong first aid med for when you really need it. And we got a defense coin now, too. That gives us a little extra... There's a lock pick. Those are always nice to have. Okay. Where's the phone? Oh, it's in here, isn't it? Right, right. Starts ringing behind me. You did good, Ethan. Zilla. Thank you. What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. I'm and trying. Way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. Anyways. We need cop guy to give us a knife, and that's how we get out of here. He should show up at the window at some point here soon. But, unfortunately, we don't have time for that. That's all the more we can do of this one. But, hey, we got to see some things. We shot some stuff, and we ran from some things. You saw enough of it. Enough of all three games. So, anyways, that'll be it for this video. I really enjoyed taking another look at these three games, and I look forward to, you know, playing them all again in my own time on the PS5. I'm not going to replay them on the channel. That's too much, but I might, I might record the gameplay of Resident Evil 7 and do an upgraded 4K version of the music video that I did way back when. Like, it would be the same audio, but the visuals will be upgraded. Uh, so, you know, could be a better recording. But anyways, let me know if that's something you'd like to see, if you'd like to see a, a, a remastered version of the Resident Evil 7 music video. But outside of that, that'll be it for this uh, whole thing. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to become a member of the Oversoul Club to get early access to this videos and others like it by hitting the join button down below. If you don't see the join button, then you can just click on my channel name and follow that to the main page and you'll see the join button there as well. Or you can just follow the link in the description as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.